What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Philip 20, and I'm back. Check it out. I've got some interesting uh, findings here. I've been playing with this transformer, three transformers turned into one for the past like three hours or at least an hour. Sorry, I'm lying to you. It's probably about an hour. And, uh, you know, we got three phase power coming out. I believe it's three phase and uh, the voltage is all equal. So that's why I'm assuming it's three phase and the color coding resembles, you know, what you would expect from three phases. So, you know, black, red and then blue coming out of the motor. So what I've done is I run a Y configuration going in. So we've got, you know, these three transformers are tied in with uh, the 90 volt X2 uh, input. So 90 volts in, 480 volts out. But since I don't have 90 volts coming out of this motor, when this shaft is spinning, the speed that I'm getting is way less than what I expected. And I've got a blower on. I've got a, a benchmark test blower. You know, you can see over here, I got a blower, fan blower right there. Right there. So the benchmark test is showing that I can get about 20 volts out of this motor. Uh, 20, and then you take and calculate the amp draw multiplied by uh, the square root of three by the amps. So it's not a lot of power, right? This is just, I'm trying to do some demonstrations, trying to figure out what's the best situation for this motor, and I believe I've figured it out. For this specific motor, which it doesn't apply to an actual wind turbine generator, this specific motor, you can take a transformer, even a 24 volt transformer from your heat pump. So you take your heat pump motor out, you take your transformer out for your heat pump, and then you can step up the power. What you'll do is you'll, instead of, you know, putting power in from the primary, you take it out of the secondary. And it, it, and it will run about one-third of the energy that you can produce. But, if you got three transformers, or needless to say, three uh, step-up, step-down transformers, this one, you can put in 90 volts at X2 and X1, and then have... 550 volts out of H1 and H4. Okay, so that's the highest voltage that you're going to get out of this at H1 and H4. But since I'm doing like 20 something volts ish, you know, 17 to 20 -ish volts, you know, for instance, I'm going to go ahead and test. We have our current meeting meter right here on one of the wires, and you have to multiply this by the square root of three. And then I'm going to test by turning the fan on and showing you how this is going to work. It's going to be a little bit louder, so I apologize. So I plugged up my 115 volt fan and it's blowing on our wind turbine. So we get to test the voltage and amperage output by short circuiting these wires or these wires or whatever. But currently, this is the current output from the motor directly. And we're on the red wire, which is attached to this circuit here, which is outputting 12 volts at a pretty good speed. You can see the wind turbine is spinning what I would expect to see out of wind turbine. And we have zero current right there. So that's zero AC current out of this circuit. It doesn't have a load. It's, I mean, maybe... It won't let me check it. So we got zero current, 0 0.01, which, you know, we're talking about milliamps. Really small. And that means this motor is going to spin with no load whatsoever. But when it reaches up to our power output, we can test our voltages. We got 68 volts, which is absolutely magnificent. Let's check the other phases. 
68 volts again. Let's check the last phase. 67 volts, 68 volts again. All right. So we've got our power output in three phase at 68 volts. And what this means is we can put a bridge rectifier between these two circuits, a bridge rectifier between these two circuits, and a bridge rectifier between these two circuits. What's beneficial about three phase power is it multiplies the power current by three, uh, square root of three, which is a lot more. It's like three times as much power as you can get out of two wires. And, you know, you see me use these little tiny wires, you're like, that's going to burn up. Well, probably if I was running a lot of current. But let's check and see what our current is between any of the two circuits. So we got 0 0.4 amps with short circuit between these two trans... Actually, all transformers are running together. So it was 0 0.4. Now let's check this one. 0 0.2. Check this one. 0.1 so our current run through this wire the red transformer when you directly short these two together it puts the heaviest load on this transformer but there's also load between the other transformers so we're going to let it spin up and then we're going to short circuit them So it's 0 0.3, 0 0.2, it's slowing down apparently, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, it's still spinning, which is good, because if it wasn't, it wouldn't work well. But we're outputting current at 70 volts or so, 68 volts, which is beyond, slightly beyond what I need for my efficiency. The efficiency rating for using a transformer for this is gonna improve how much power I can get out of the motor. I hate to say it, but this is a terrible idea for a setup. And let me explain to you why. We short circuit, it slows it down like a brake acts as a brake. Now, the reason why this is a terrible idea because these transformers don't have a whole lot of resistance to stop it in case of it's, you know, spinning really fast. You see me short circuit it. And that's what you would consider a brake when you short circuit the transformer. So I would have to short circuit these wire, these three, uh, the black, red, and blue on this side of the transformer to get it to stop. It puts a heavier load on it and you get a lot more power out of it even though it's uh, 12 15 volts or whatever 17 volts you can put a bridge rectifier a three phase bridge rectifier directly on this motor you could get 12 volt solar output directly from this motor and you wouldn't have to worry about none of this mess here you just wire up a three phase bridge rectifier put a heat sink on it and put this in the wind and run it this would run and make some power in emergencies. This is only, you know, demonstration for emergencies. But, for instance, if you had a 48-volt system, which is obviously more complicated, to wire up a three-phase system. This is three, three transformers turned into a single transformer that's three-phase. And both sides is running in a Y... Uh, uh, the, this side is running a Y configuration. This side is running a delta configuration. Now I can run a Y configuration on this side, but it doesn't pull as much current through the motor. So the amperage is uh, by half by running a, a Y configuration, but the voltage jumps up to 120 volts, which is cool because you could run light bulbs off of this and uh, you know other really low current things off of this. If, you know, for instance, you had this and it was, it was spinning at full blast. But like I said, this specific application, if it was an emergency and you needed to make power, this would attach to your car battery if you had a bridge rectifier. Now let me show you where I found some bridge rectifiers. 
what we've got here is one of the motor modules it's got a ferro coil it's got capacitors it's got the plug-in for the motors and it's got all this junk inside of there and you can see it's just a bunch of junk but let's take a closer look at what's on this thing here that's a bridge rectifier right there if you look up the part number that is a bridge rectifier it takes power from alternating current converts it into direct current and it's not a large amount of current that we need to go through it we just need enough to charge a battery to run a radio to run a couple lights <clears throat> so you know this right here is going to be really awesome for you guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take three of these old bridge rectifiers out I'm gonna tie them into these three terminals and then we're gonna convert it to DC power and we will be able to charge the batteries we won't have a charge controller on this for instance an emergency you won't really have a lot of power anyways running off of something like this but you can make something from nothing that's what I'm trying to demonstrate you can take this motor put a shaft on it and turn it over and over and then you can make it for instance you can take one of the old fan blades that comes off of the heat pump during a worst case you know scenario and just keep turning the wheel and it'll work also you can put something you know heavy on there and spin it if you can find it to you know get it balanced like a flywheel but that's going to be harder to find but the general idea is you get this motor you can strap it down to something and you can turn it over and over again or if you can get a hold of some wind turbine blades you can uh, make some make something as well so this is a really cool project I've spent a lot of time on this and I apologize I've slowed down on the videos because I've been working non-stop trying to figure out how to build a three-phase transformer out of the same stuff that I already had in the garage I took a part of microwave transformer I welded the microwave transformer together to where I had three uh, posts where you can wind it I winded it several different ways and all of them had the exact same winding and I can't seem to figure out why the voltage was different maybe I was uh, checking the voltages wrong because I had different voltages on this until I figured out exactly how to run these wires so you guys I hope you guys liked the video share subscribe this has been a long and lengthy process I'm gonna get this turbine up in the air and we're gonna get this thing running to charge um, a 24 volt or a 12 volt battery system and we're also gonna charge on the 48 volt battery system I gotta figure out what is the most efficient way to make electricity with this type of motor we'll see you next time peace hello lazy to get gentlemen thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video there's lots more content coming click the subscribe button below make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel see you next time peace